Hey guys, Eamon here, back with another AFL reaction. We are checking out Best of the Decade uh, Big Hits and Tackles, I guess is what it looks like it's going to be. Um, we've done the Best of the Decade uh, goals and marks so far, so um, yeah, I wanted to switch it up a bit and check out some more, uh, some of the physical stuff, I guess. Um, yeah, excited to see some big hits. I haven't really seen too many big hits um, in the AFL yet, just maybe just in the rule, the rule video we might have seen a, a bit, but um, yeah. Nothing, nothing crazy yet, but I'm assuming they're going to be huge. Obviously, I'm, I've been checking out rugby and, like, league and stuff, so I've seen some of the hits that people do in, like, sports where there's no pads, and they're obviously, like, pretty insane. So, um, I think I actually, I watched an NRL game a couple weeks ago where a player got tackled and, like, threw up on the field right after. So, that is, that is crazy. Maybe we'll see something like that in this. Um, but, yeah, I'm excited. Um, I know the rules are for tackling it's like it's like i think it's similar to rugby i'd assume there's no like you can't really hit above above the chest i'd assume is kind of how it would be um and the you have to have the ball i believe to get tackled in in, in aussie rules right so um yeah correct me if i'm wrong i I'm, I'm trying to remember the if they went over the tackling rules in the rule book video we did but um yeah that makes sense i mean you shouldn't be able to tackle people that don't have the ball right so yeah we'll go with that um yeah yeah, thanks, thanks a ton for the support from the uh, other AFL videos I've done. Um, really, really exciting sport so far. I haven't got, dove too much into it yet, but I, I do plan to, so we'll uh, we'll keep going with that. But yeah, thanks a ton. I've uh, gotten tons of comments on players to check out and all that stuff, and then eventually check out the actual league, the AFL league. So um, yeah, yeah, we'll get to that at some point. Um, but yeah, let's just hop into it. Uh, make sure to sub if you're not, like the video, comment all your thoughts, um, suggestions, all that good stuff, and join the Discord if you're interested in that. Um, yeah, let's just hop into it. All right, so we got AFL Best of the Decade 2010-2019, Brutal Bumps and Tackles. I miss, yeah, is a bump? That must just be like a saying, right? Or is a bump a specific way of tackling? Well, let me know. Um, yeah, let's just hop into it, though. Kicks it. Not the best of kicks for Duncan. Oh, Ooh. the big mama fight. Yeah. Ke 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 oh, the great Lou Richards. He is train coming. He is he's pancake. Yeah, like, Why not for Yeah, I'm gonna pause it a bunch of this. Like is, is that a legal tackle right there? Because I feel like that wouldn't be legal in rugby. I don't think. And I'm sorry, I know a bunch of you guys are mad at me for like comparing the different uh, comparing like rugby and Aussie rules, but like it's hard not to because as someone that didn't really know about either of them, it's yeah, it's hard not to, to see like some comparables at least. But you know, let me know. Let me know if that's a legal hit nowadays. It's working. He finished up on the deck by McGovern. Left his balance. Hutchings comes away. Dropping down the ground. He's run down by Riola. His hands were quick enough, or were they? It's okay. Okay. Some of these are like skillful plays. Okay. Yeah, okay. Nice. Yeah, see, so, yeah, so a lot of these are going to be like just elite defensive tackles instead of just like big hits, I guess. Yeah. That's cool. I like seeing. Ooh. Ooh, that was an elbow. Right to the jaw, I think. That'd be in, in hockey, you'd get suspended for that. Ooh, that was nice. <laughs> Nice. Do you steal it? Handball over the top. Viney. Oh, Sydney Stack just sat him down. What a statement that is. That's a good hit. Cox maybe wanted into the shade. Bounces it. Jeez. The kid might go all right. Yeah, that was a good one too. Oh, that was oh, that hurt so bad right in the stomach. To the ribs, maybe. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Games. Oh, game. I didn't even see the scoreboard in the time. Okay, yeah, game saver. Game saver. Nice, another one. That's awesome. Oof. 
Yeah, that feels like it's not legal, right? Like, he just took his head out. Ooh, that was like... Was that head-to-head? -head? No. Shoulder? Ooh, yeah, he got him in the jaw. Yeah, let me know the specific rules on, on tackling. Um, like, like what? Like, I'm assuming, like, it's 2024. Or I guess these video, this, this video is from 2010 to 2019, so the rules might not have changed yet. But I know, like, most sports with, like, body contact have, like, strict head rules, head contact rules now. So maybe these might be outdated a bit. Because I know, like, if you watch, like, older hockey hits, like, all of them are, like, elbows to the head and stuff. And it was, like, you're allowed to do that back then. So it's, like, crazy. But yeah, let, let me know the specifics, just so I'm a bit refreshed on that. Nice. Oh, <laughs> the bounce. <laughs> I love those. Those are reminding me so much of hockey hits. To, to draw the, rug, the rugby comparison I keep making, um, in rugby I haven't seen any hits that are like hockey hits, where like in hockey you, you hit with the shoulder. But in AFL here in Aussie rules, I'm seeing lots of like shoulder checks instead of like tackles. Oh! <laughs> oh, they're they're laughing. They're laughing. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, like most of these are like hockey type hits. Why do you? Who's that? Why do you just shove him there? <laughs> Ooh, a little rain game. <laughs> that was a double double tackle. <laughs> Nice. So run down, they call that. Okay. Run down when you like chase a guy down and grab him. Oh, nice. The commentator said, "Was it in the back though? Is, is that can you not hit from behind?" Oh. Uh, <laughs> the commentator, I think he might hit him in the head there. Let me look at this. Uh, I think he hit him in the head there. There's a reason he's knocked out right now. <laughs> the commentator. Let me know if that was like me, a biased commentator, or are they talking about... Yeah, like that's shoulder right to the head. You can argue that he did make contact with the shoulder too, but like he... The main contact is to the head. Like a hit like that would probably be a suspension in hockey. For 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 a head check. Um, I don't know. There. Yeah, let me know, just let me know the rules. Let me know the rules. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Just because I know people hate watching reactions where people don't know the rules, let me just uh, Aussie rules tackling rules. Okay. Yeah, I, I know whenever I watch a, a hockey reaction on YouTube, I get so mad when people don't know the rules. So let me just, just to clarify some stuff while we're watching this, just so I don't um, watch the rest of the video not knowing. Um, okay, this is the official AFL International. Is this the right rule book? Okay, I think I found I think I found an actual rule book here. Okay, tackles executed correctly if the player is held in possession of the football and either by the body or playing uniform below the shoulders and above and including the knees. Okay. So below the shoulder, so no head, no head contact. Uh, a tackle may be executed correctly by holding a player from the front side or behind, provided that a player held from behind is not pushed. So you can't push people from behind, but you can tackle them. I'm assuming a push would be like, yeah, you're just like shoving them forward instead of, yeah. If a tackle is executed correctly and the player in possession of the football has had prior opportunity to dispose of the football, i.e. had a chance to dispose of the football, then the tackling player shall receive a free kick where the tackle was made. Okay. Okay, so if you so if you if you tackle someone that had a chance to dispose of the ball, then that then you get you get a free kick. So I'm assuming that means like like if a player had enough time, I guess like if a player just picked the ball and then immediately got tackled, that wouldn't count. But if they had picked it up and ran a little bit, maybe that would count. Yeah, let me know on the clarification for that. 
Um, if the player in possession of the football has not had a prior opportunity, did not have a chance to dispose of the football, then a ball up shall be played when the tackle is made. Okay. So a ball up is just like when they throw it up in the air. Yeah. When attempting a tackle, a free kick shall be given against the tackler if he makes contact above the shoulders, including the top of the shoulders, or bump to the head, okay, or below the knees, or pushes the player on the back, okay. Unless such c contact is incidental to a marking contest and the player is legitimately marking, okay. Okay, and then we got rough tackles. Okay, what are rough tackles? Is when tackling should position and will result in the following hit out. Okay, yeah, rough, rough. Those are just more like like need uh, un, unneeded tackles, like just being rough too too rough. Um. Okay. All right, guys. Let's go back into this. I know the new rules a bit better now. Apologies for the uh, the big uh, stop in the middle of the video, but yeah, I, mean, I might edit, I might actually edit the uh, into the into the intro. The, we might, might do that. We'll see. We'll see. Anyways, let's go. Better understanding the rules now. Hit him in the shoulder. Nice. 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 Oh, nice. This guy gonna get him back? Riscatelli? I think he's gonna run him down. Yeah. Nice. What a run. Oh. Jesus. Oh, fuck. Oh, big tackle. Oh, man. Oh, that's a nice, that's a nice hit right there. What can they do here? McKenna's fast. He's fast. Dixon's gone. Nice. Dixon's gone. Dangerfield taken down, but he did okay. Scott Selgie clutching. Terrific there. Kick forward. Dangerfield. Oh, that could have been bad. Yeah, they're, they're, bird. they're both hurt. Oh. Oh, that was a good tackle. Okay, so, so going back to going, going back to that rule. So this would be because this the number forty eight here didn't have a chance at all to like move the ball. This would be a um, what's it called when they throw it up in the air? It'd be a, when they throw it up in the air. Here instead, it wouldn't be a free kick for the red team. It'd just be a throw up in the air. Yeah, I think. Let me know if that's right. I think I think that's right. Oh, fuck. Oh, what a, that didn't even look weird. Oh! Big hit. We've seen this guy, number 43, here. He's been in a lot of clips in this. Is he, like, known as one of the biggest tacklers? Or best tacklers, maybe? Ooh. Ah, oh, man. Jeez. I can't even imagine, like... I don't think I've ever actually like ran and smashed into someone without wearing pads before. Like, I wonder what it would feel like. I don't really want to know what it would feel like, but I wonder what it would. Because <laughs> I've like only really played. Yeah, I've only really played hockey. I don't think I played. I played soccer a bit, but that was before. I, like I was like. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it was maybe one of the arms, wasn't Oh, big hit. Yes, that was another rule that I, I, I noticed. I was looking at the rules just now. You can hit people if they don't have the ball, if they're like within five meters of the ball. So like this right here is legal. He just like ran the guy because he was near the ball. Is that, that the gist of it? Um, Yeah, let me know. That sounds right, but... Ooh, big hit. 
Oh, he's hurt. Jeez. Okay. Cleanliness and, and decisiveness. Cleanliness. I like it. Oh, Zorka got pulverized. Oh, oh, look at kicking it. Got hit. Let me see. The only time you see that sort of thing is when somebody comes off the turnbuckle. Alert to the interchange gates. Ponzi Adley, a defiant fist. Look out. Ooh. Well done by both players on a collision course. Young Schroeder can put the body in. Oh, I got another one. Well, that guy, okay, is that, is that, let me know if that's legal, because this, he didn't have the ball, which I think, I think that's allowed if you don't have the ball, as long as you're within a certain amount of time, but, but this number nine, he jumps into it, he, watch, he jumps, he jumps off this leg into it and goes, like, is that, like, that's head contact to me, but it, it I don't think it's a penalty, just based off what I've seen so far, it's like it's, a, it's, a, it's illegal, but, um, I mean, like in hockey, this would either be called like charging when you jump is like is 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 uh, one of the interpretations of charging in hockey, and then he he makes head contact too. So like, yeah, like he gets him right in the jaw, and he's off completely. Yeah, let, let me know. Let me know. There's gonna be so many, so many questions in this video. Let me know the answers. <laughs> That is a tall guy right there. This is going to be a rundown. Yeah, 39 is going to grab him. Nice. Nice. Ooh. Yeah, jeez. Bending it back. Does he get the bounce? Garner's there. Nice. Crunched him. Swan has other ideas. Lewis brilliant. Rioli's got the footy. Rioli runs down from behind. Holding the ball. Then the handball to Jacob. The little kid. Oh, man. Mumford cleaned him up. That was. Uh, did he get him in the jaw? Oh, Maybe not. Real oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ! He ripped his jersey right off him. Holy. Oh, there's 43 again. Anthony Chippenwoody? Okay. Um, I think I might need to check out a highlight reel of his. Anthony Chippenwoody. Because he's that's like the fourth one he's been in here. Oh. Oh, I thought the blue, the blue guy got the worst of that. Jeez, yeah. Oh, man. WWE <laughs> Oh, oh, that's okay. That's illegal. That's yeah. You can't do that. That is. Jeez. Let me know how often like suspensions happen in the AFL for like illegal stuff. I feel like it must be pretty high. Oh, that knocked it out of him. Yeah. Uh, did they say a hip and shoulder? Okay. Releases Barry, who can get it and go to the 50. Well, it's going to go. Now, Jasty doesn't get it away very far. Oh, okay. I thought that was head to head. It wasn't as bad as it. Oh, actually, was it? No, they would have been knocked out. Oh, <laughs> we got double hit. Boom, and then. Oh, man, that could have been bad. Oh, good hit. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's... Dude, you... Oh, that would do... This the wind knocked out of you. I can, I can just remember that happening with pads on. Oh. 
takes on Murphy. Oh. Brilliant tackle. Didn't think he was going to be paid. Murphy, Petretsky, Seaton. Paulson ran into a oh. roadblock. And Nick Nat can get into stride here with a bounce. He just takes on Tess, mm -hmm. but he would not be denied. You see that though, coming front on. It would have been head high contact. Oh, oh that was the completely accidental, I think, wasn't it? Oh, no, no, he saw him. He saw him. Mm. Oh, man. Oh, I didn't even see that one. Nice shit. Oh, fuck. That was right to the head. Wasn't it? Oh, my God. I need to watch that one again. Was that to the head? That one was really... I need a better angle on that one. Let me see this. Which guy is it? Is it 20, 29? <laughs> Holy fuck. That's got to be... I don't know. Is, is is this a legal hit? This might be the biggest question one I have because, yeah, in hockey the rules. I sort of keep bringing up hockey, but that's like my best reference point. Um, in hockey, you're allowed to make head contact if you make contact with like the rest of the body. But if 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 it's like the primary point of contact is the head, though, like for instance, if you if you hit someone in the head and then the rest of their body afterwards, that that would be a penalty. It wouldn't be allowed. Um. Yeah, I'm very curious. Let me know because this is like yeah, this is obviously a huge part of the sport, and so I I need to get the rules locked down for this, especially. Uh, so let me know. Let me know. But that was like a violent ass hit. I feel like maybe it wasn't head contact. I don't think he's knocked out. I think he's just like that fucking hurt. So yeah, maybe not. A, maybe it wasn't head. Met in like upper chest, which I guess is fine. But oh no. Big ball, the win here, and Shuey wins it. Has a bounce, look at Barco, come at him, got it! Oh, oh, nice, nice. Trap, Barco. Wilson, he could ball. Oh, big Ooh. give it, Jonah. What a shepherd from Cole. All right, okay, yeah, that, that sums up for me, yeah. I, so I, I know the rule now, for sure. You, you can hit people with the, with the ball if they're near the ball. It's like it's kind of like uh, like American football in that regard. Franklin, knocked away by Morris. Nice spit, sold a teammate, the trouble, quick thinking by Kennedy. Yes, that was him. Was that him again? No. no. Oh man, that looked high. Oof. God damn, man. <laughs> Bangs it forward, Swans with some numbers, Smith drops the ball, little give under pressure, good harassment from Mott Lobor, that's big. Fisted away, yeah. and here he Save goes, Richards. Jake Lloyd, he got the ball across and Richards has... So you're going to run him all the way down? Oh my god. Jeez, how did no one tell him that the guy was running his ass? Quite. He just ran under it, pushed under it perhaps. Oh, big hit. Get off our grass! Hip and shoulder, okay. Yeah, hip and shoulder. They call them hip and shoulders a lot on those. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that was a forearm right to the head. Yeah, dude. That's another, like, it's another one. Let me know the rule. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, good tackle. Nice. That's the goal right after you. <laughs> all right all right guys so that was my reaction to the best of the decade afl uh brutal bumps and tackles was it yeah brutal bumps and tackles um yeah so obviously this is this was a long one i had a lot of questions um i'm gonna try to edit the video as much as i can so it's not like um me just sitting there reading stuff the whole time but um yeah so I, yeah lots of questions i think i got the gist of the rules but there's a couple clarifications i obviously need so let me know um yeah, the main thing being like 
how is head contact decided? Like, is it any head contact as a penalty now? Or is it like, yeah, like, can you make contact with like the chest and the head? And then it, it, would, it would be deemed like legal in that case. Um, yeah, there's, there's, yeah, there's a few, few, step, few things like that. I, I'm assuming like, maybe not an AFL, I don't know, but like most leagues nowadays for different sports are like completely banning head contact because it's obviously so dangerous. Um, and I'm definitely, I'm someone on that side. I, I'd prefer to have, it, if you hit the head, just you're gone, you're, you're out of the game or whatever. Um, because yeah, it's, it's just so dangerous and you don't want, you don't want like a sport, you know, like, like the sport just declines with more, more and more head injuries. P people won't play the sport as much and stuff. You, you're already in like hockey and football. I know, um, yeah, hockey and football, like the numbers of people playing are going down. And I know like safety is a big part of that. Not the main part, but th there's a part of it. Cause it's just like, why would you want your kid to have like concussions and stuff growing up? So, um, yeah, let me know, let me know some clarifications on stuff there. And I am assuming the rules have probably changed in recent years because why is my camera tweaking out? Sorry guys, what is going on here? Yeah, I'm assuming the rules changed in recent memory. So let me know like when they did or um, that sort of thing. Cause like, yeah, like I said, I think I said in the intro, like lots of um, lots of big hits you'll see in hockey from the, from the past like 20, 30, 40 years are like illegal now or, or would have been suspensions and stuff. So I'm assuming it's the same in AFL. I think mostly it's like that. So let me know how many of these might've been illegal um, or maybe they're legal at the time and now they're not. Um, all that stuff um yeah i guess the biggest thing i did notice um or the, the most expected thing I, I saw was that a lot of the almost like most of the hits i felt like were like shoulder hits which is more of like a hockey thing i feel like where you hit them with your shoulder on like the side of your body because yeah I, when i when i've been watching rugby and like league um it's pretty much exclusively like tackles where you're like full on like tackling someone not just like bodying them with your with your shoulder and your, your body so i was i wasn't expecting that at all going into this um would that be called a bump right they said hip and shoulder a bunch maybe, maybe that's what they meant by bump in the in the video title because a, a tackle would be like grabbing them and then a bump would be like bumping them with your body like yeah that, that makes sense that makes sense why did i why didn't i think of that <laughs> so yeah so a bump hip and shoulder your shoulder shoulder hip hip and shoulder yeah um, so yeah, I was not expecting that at all. And that, that's very, that's very hockey like to me. So, um, that was cool to see. Um, definitely an interesting way of like hitting uh, it. That obviously would like, like a hip and shoulder that would hurt. Uh, that hurts a lot more, especially if you're like a hip and shoulder, like to the chest, like, oh my God, man, like playing hockey, man, you could like hockey. The speed is like even faster than like other sports. Cause you can pick, you can get, you can go faster, like skating, I think. Right. Yeah. Maybe like the average the average skater could probably go a bit faster, but because you have pads on, you can just like throw your whole body into it into it into a hit. And the uh, even like I've, I've I remember I remember hitting people myself, and like knocking my the wind out of myself hitting someone just because you can go so hard at people with the pads. Um, yeah, without pads, it would be just even more so. Like oh man, I I can't even imagine like a shoulder someone's shoulder right to the chest would oh man, that would be brutal. Um, yeah yeah fun stuff um i'm assuming that this video probably was wasn't too um like this this video i'm assuming there's other videos on youtube where it's like the biggest and like most like dangerous hits and stuff like that i just i assume because there, there's got to be more like there's probably a 40 minute video of some people getting knocked out in this but that's more full of like illegal stuff i'd, I'd, I'd imagine because yeah there's yeah 18 players there's got to be a lot of really, really bad or like accidental stuff and stuff. So yeah, we'll, we'll check those out in the future. Um, but yeah, yeah, really awesome stuff. Let me know what to check out next for the best of decade stuff. I think there's like um, best finishes and like best uh, best games, best best goals of each year and stuff. Like, I think there's stuff like that for best of the decade. Let me know which one to check out next. And then we're definitely going to start diving into more players. Um, yeah, yeah, let me know. Um, all right, one of there. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to drop a sub if you're not sub. Like the video, comment your thoughts. Um, and yeah, obviously I have so many questions. So if someone could, um, yeah, hopefully, actually, yeah, hopefully more than you do, more than one of you do, does. But yeah, make, let me know. Like try to if you can explain the tackling rules as simple as possible, that'd be great. Um, I think I understand the the hold the ball rule 
even though it, I think if, just from my brief Googling throughout that, it, it seems like some of the rules are pretty like, you guys don't even know them is what I assumed like I was reading um, in, in the threads I was looking at. So um, yeah, let me know the gist. Mainly, I'm mainly curious about the, the, the head contact stuff because that obviously is a very tricky uh, situation and they, yeah, they're cracking down on it like worldwide. So I'd be curious to know exactly how the head contact rules work. Um, yeah. Yeah. Thanks for watching.